welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I'd like to apologise for my voice and general appearance. I have a horrendous cold and I have been trying to put off filming this video for as long as I possibly could so that I would sound normal and not like Phoebe's sexy voice. But I now have to do it otherwise it won't be uploaded in time for Sunday. So if you're new to this channel, please don't judge me on this video. <laughs> Watch my other ones and see how I usually sound. So today I wanted to do a spilling the tea video, get to know me. So I've done a mummy tag video which were like a set list of questions. But that was very specific to like having a baby and pregnancy and all that sort of stuff. So I wanted to do like a more general spilling the tea um, of what my life's like, a little bit more about me, because a lot of you have asked like to know a little bit more about me, which is lovely. Um, and I definitely don't mind telling you anything you want to know. So if you do any other questions, please comment down below. If I get enough, I'll do another video. So I've got like a set list of questions that I've sort of compiled from other people's um, Spilling the Tea videos. I didn't put it on Twitter because I didn't think I'd ever respond. Um, so I'm just going to go through them and answer everything that you might need to know. So the first one is, where did you grow up? I grew up in a little tiny village um, just outside of Preston in northwest England. It is so tiny. Like, we lived at number two, my grandpa lived at number 11, my auntie lived at number 29 on the same street. Um, everyone knows everyone to the point where Paul was once walking our family dog and someone stopped him and said, That's not your dog. Like, it's tiny. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have a little brother. Um, hey, he won't be watching this. He doesn't even have me as a friend on Facebook. Um, his name is Ian. He is 25. Yeah, he's 25. Um, and we couldn't be more different. Like, he is blonde and I am dark. I think since getting married and having a baby, it has brought us closer together because he really likes Paul and he really likes Ben. So it's nothing to do with me, but like he, he will now spend more time with us because he likes Paul and he likes Finn. So there you go. Yeah, I have a little brother. So the next question is, where did you go to uni and what did you do at uni? Um, so I went, a bit of a complicated story, I went to Bangor University in North Wales my first year and I did English with Journalism. Um, and I hated it. Like I met two amazing, beautiful friends there, but I just hated it there. It was rural, there wasn't anything to do, there wasn't even a cinema, um, it was really isolated, I felt really isolated, I put on loads of weight because it was like my first time at the house and I was just turned 18 and, and I was just eating anything that I could get my hands on basically because I was so bored and I kind of went into like a depression um, but I decided to complete my first year and then I transferred to my second year in Manchester. Um, so I went to Manchester Met University, which was amazing, although I do feel like it was detrimental to my grades at university, because in my first year in Bangor I got a first, and then I ended up with a 2-1 um, in Manchester because I was going out and having fun so much. Manchester was definitely the place for me, and I've never really left. So the next question is, what have you done for a job, like what has been my career history? Um, so it's quite short, so don't worry. So I started off. Um, washing up at an Italian restaurant and then I went to uni. I had a job in a hotel when I was at uni in Manchester just being a waitress. When I left uni I went to work at Virgin Wines um, which was a call centre, like a customer service call centre so not like a salesy call centre and I absolutely loved it. It was lovely, it was such a lovely place to work and again I've still got friends from that job as well and then I moved back to Manchester and I joined an agency and the agency put me on the switchboard at the BBC I worked on the switchboard at the BBC for about, I think about three, four months. I answered calls from the general public, which included things like, um, my husband and I think Noel Edmonds is a prick. Can you put me through to him so I can tell him? A lady complaining that her washing was wet because we hadn't mentioned on the weather forecast it was going to rain and she wanted compensation. So people ringing to complain they didn't like the news presenter's tie. There's a lot of elderly people ringing um, with very amusing stories. Um, so I absolutely loved that job. And then I went to work at Media City, which is BBC North's headquarters. And I worked there for four or five years. And I worked in facilities there, so it was quite a boring job. But it was made slightly better by the fact that I worked with Paul. So um, I met my husband at the BBC. And then I went to work at the Hook Group which is a massive company that owns companies like My Protein, they look fantastic, and it owns loads of different beauty brands. And I was 
initially a content and social manager, so I wrote a load of content for them and um, managed social channels on a couple of diet brands that they had. And then I was promoted to brand manager and that involved a lot of work with the US team because we had an office in Utah and I had to fly out to Utah and work with them. And then I got pregnant and now I am starting up freelance marketing um, and content. So I'm doing a couple of bits for a couple of clients. So yeah, that's it really. I hope you've not fallen asleep. So the next question is where did you and your husband meet? And I've just kind of answered that in the last job bit. So me and Paul met at work. And he was part of like an extended group of, of friends that I had at work. I've known him for much longer than we've been together. I knew him for about four years before we got together, um, but not well. We kind of like just knew each other to say hello to in passing. Um, so yeah, we met at work, which I think quite a lot of people do. Um, and we started going out, but we kept it a secret for a little while because we didn't want people at work to know. Because we thought that they would like judge us, especially because we were working so closely together. Um, so yeah, it's a good place to meet people at work, isn't it? We started going out when I was like 24, so I think I'm quite lucky that I met someone so early and then I didn't have to bother with like Tinder or anything because I'd be rubbish at that. So how did your husband propose? It's actually such a good story. Um, he proposed in New York at the top of the Rockefeller Centre. He had gone to New York on holiday. I have to say, I kind of had an inkling that it was going to happen. Um, and when you go into the Rockefeller Centre, you have to go through security scanners. Um, so he was trying to put his coat through the security scanner, and actually that's just for bags, because he didn't want to walk through the big like metal one and for it to go off because he had the ring in his pocket. Um, and the guy was like, no, no, sorry, I don't want your coat. Please keep your coat on. Um, and he'd written a little note that said, engagement ring, please be discreet, so that if he was searched and they found it, that they wouldn't like be like, what's this? Um, and he took me to the very top of Rockefeller Centre and it was just me and him, there was no one else there and he like pulled me into his coat and proposed but he wasn't going to get down on one knee and I was like, get down on one knee, do this properly! But he'd asked my dad and he'd asked my grandpa um, which I had no idea that he'd done so it was lovely and he'd picked the ring himself as well um, so yeah So next question is where do you get married? We got married in Liverpool, which is Paul's home city. We got married at the Hope Street Hotel in Liverpool, um, which was just a lovely plain room, but it had like floor to ceiling windows so that you could see all of Liverpool out the window. And then we went to a place called Omi oh Mai and had a really relaxed, sort of chilled wedding. Um, it wasn't massive. We had afternoon tea instead of like a traditional wedding breakfast. And we found this guy busking outside Selvages in Manchester. He was amazing. His name's Joe McAdam. I'll link him down below. And he did a kind of like, a, not an Oasis tribute band, but they did a lot of Oasis songs because we really like Oasis. Um, so he did, he like formed a band for the night and we had a live band, which was brilliant. So I have to say, I didn't enjoy my wedding as much as I thought I would. Like I've been planning that wedding since I was about 13, you know, like probably even younger than that. But I found it quite uncomfortable to be centre of attention all day. Um, and so did Paul. I didn't like having my pictures taken. I hate my wedding photographs. I think when you put that much pressure on a day, it's bound to not be the best because your expectations are just so high. So the next question is where did you go on honeymoon? We went to the Maldives, which was lovely, except that I only had a week off work to go and it's quite a long way to go for a week and it rained for 60% of the time we were there and because it was quite a small island we were staying in a water bungalow um, there wasn't really anything to do when it was raining I think if you go into the Maldives you should go to a place that has multiple restaurants so that there's different places to eat every night because we sat at the same table for breakfast, lunch and dinner and at the same thing every night. Um, so I think you should probably go to like a bigger resort and spend more money. But yeah, it was lovely. We just wanted somewhere to chill and because we got married in October, like the end of October, we needed to go quite far to get winter sun. Um, but I probably, I would go again, I would just go to a different island because there's like hundreds of different ones. So the next question is when did you start trying for a baby? So we started trying for a baby probably about six months after we got married when we'd moved into our first house. So we moved in here into the March and I think I found out I was pregnant in the May. We found out we were pregnant like the month after we started trying um, and I know that's incredibly, incredibly lucky because so many of my friends and family have struggled with that. Um, cringily, when we told my mum and dad that I was pregnant, my dad was like, were you trying? I thought, that's a really inappropriate question, dad, to be honest. So, 
How did you tell your husband you were pregnant? I had all these amazing ways that I was going to tell Paul I was pregnant. What I was going to do, Paul's number one job that he hates in the house is taking the washing out of the washing machine or putting it in the tumble dryer or taking it out of the tumble dryer and folding it up. So what I was going to do was put a pregnancy test in the washing machine and be like, please, can you go and hang that up? And like he would moan that he didn't want to do it and then go in there and find it. But of course, when it happens, um, you just want to tell him straight away. So Paul was uh, definitely not drying his hair. Um, in what is now the baby's room and I was in the shower and I had done quite a lot of tests because we were trying um, and they'd all been negative and so I did a test and then I got in the shower and I washed my hair and I shaved my legs and did all that jazz and I even got out and brushed my teeth and then I was like oh I did a pregnancy test I should check and it was positive and I just literally like put my head around the door with a little stick and I was like we're pregnant then we went that day to a gig to see the Cortinas in Manchester and um, we went with some of our best friends who instantly knew I was pregnant because I wasn't drinking. Like we went to a um, bar first before the gig and I ordered a coffee and everyone else ordered a lager and they were like, well, you're pregnant. Um, so we told close family and friends before 12 weeks and then I told the rest of my friends and work after that point. The next question is, did you like being pregnant? No. I hated being pregnant. I think people that like being pregnant are insane. The next question is, do you want more children? Oh, yes, yes. The answer is, yes, I want more children. No, I don't want to grow them, but I know that I'm going to have to. If we are lucky enough to have another baby, because I know it's not a granted, and, you know, fertility is a very strange and miraculous thing, um, I would love to have another baby. I know for a fact it would be a boy. Like, the Angel family, which is Paul's side of the family, only have baby boys. Kind of want to wait until he's, like, three, four, so he can help with the baby and he's at school and it, we don't have to put two in nursery at the same time. Although I suppose we wouldn't because I'd be at home with the baby. Um, but I want to wait a little bit longer, I think. And to give my body a rest. Like, I'd, I did not like being pregnant. I did not like giving birth. So I think I would need to, like, kind of convince myself that I wanted to do it again um, so yeah the problem is that Paul would have like seven children and I know that if I have a boy next time that I would be very 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 tempted to try for a girl and then I would end up with three boys so I have to school myself not to do that at the time. The final question is who are your favourite YouTubers? I fell in love with YouTube around the time of Tanya Burr Jim Chapman kind of thing and I used to watch Jim Chapman and Tony Burr's daily vlogs and vlogmas and things like that like all the time um, but I have to say I've kind of fallen out of love with them a little bit because they've stopped kind of doing YouTube. Everyday Jim which is the channel that I used to watch all the time he's deleted all those videos which I find really odd. When I was pregnant I used to watch I used to watch the channel mum like weekly updates of where you were when you were pregnant and I watched a lot of birth and delivery stories which in hindsight didn't really help but I enjoyed doing it at the time just to get some sort of frame of reference um, as to what my birth would be like. But as we all know, every birth's different and you can't really gauge that, although I will link my birth and delivery story down below if you're interested. I love Fleur de Force, absolutely love her because she had a baby around the same time. I love the Georgia edit. Um, I love Anna Saccone Jolie because she's just had her fourth baby. Um, and I did, I did her exercise, pregnancy exercise videos the whole time that I was pregnant because she did some... Um, postnatal and prenatal exercise videos that you could were safe to do if you were pregnant um, so I did those every week um, but I love discovering new people I like watching 10,000 calorie challenges like I will just get lost down the rabbit hole of YouTube um, and I love watching videos and I only make videos that I would like to watch if that makes sense oh and Emily Norris I absolutely love Emily Norris she is amazing and um, I watch her videos all the time she's got three little boys I love watching I love when you discover someone on YouTube and they've got loads of videos and you're like yes I've got like a whole backlog of videos that I can watch now um, and another YouTuber that I've recently discovered that I've just done a collaboration with is Little Life of Lottie and um, so I did my baby Christmas gift list with her last week which I'll link again down below and she did one as well and um, she's lovely I loved finding YouTubers as well that haven't got a massive following that you can tell are going to be huge I think she's going to be one of those people but I don't get offended like if people don't like my videos because they're not in the same places in their life as I am they don't like talking about babies or they don't like cleaning the house because they're out having fun going traveling and um, 
that's fine. I don't, I'm not bothered about that. I make videos for the kind of people that, that are like me and are at the stage in their life that they like my videos. So I don't take it personally. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there is anything that I've missed out that you'd like to know, please comment down below and let me know. And if there are enough, I'll definitely do a follow-up video today. If you're new to this channel, please feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you as a viewer. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.